a pleasant welcome to all now we are going to study about computer system architecture video lecture and e-content created by rd sivakumar msc mphil mtech assistant professor of computer science and assistant professor of head department of mcom ca ayanadar janaki mall college sivagasi mobile 0994042243 email address siva msc sit at gmail.com Website www.rdsivakumar.blackspot.in Computer System Architecture According to the number of general purpose processors, the computer system can be categorized as follows Single Processor System and Multiple Processor System Single Processor System More system use a single processor. If there is only one general purpose, CPU then the system is a single processor system. Single processor system capable of executing a general purpose instruction set. Multiprocessor system. Multiprocessor systems have two or more processors in close communication. Multiprocessor system share the computer bus, clock, memory and peripheral devices. Multiprocessor system also known as parallel system or tightly coupled system. Types of multiple processing. Asymmetric multiprocessing, symmetric multiprocessing. Asymmetric multiprocessing is defined as a master slave relationship. The master processor schedules and allocates work to the slave processor. Symmetric multiprocessing. Each processor performs all tasks. Advantages of multiprocessing system. Throughput, economics of scale and increased reliability. Throughput. Number of instruction executed per second. Economics of scale. Multiprocessor can also save money compared to multiple single systems because the processor can share peripheral storages and power supplies. Increased reliability. If functions can be distributed properly among several processors, then the failure of one processor will not half the system, only slow it down. Clustered system. It consists of two or more individual systems filled together. It uses multiple CPUs to compute a task. The clustered computer share storage and are closely linked via LAN. That means LAN, local area network networking. Cluster system users. Clustering is usually used to provide high availability services. It is a group of computer system connected with a high speed communication link. Cluster system classify. Clustering can be structured asymmetrically or symmetrically. Asymmetrically clustering. In asymmetric clustering, one machine is in hot standby mode while the other is running applications. Hot standby mode. A hot standby host machine does nothing but monitor the active server. If that server fails, the hot standby host becomes the active server. Symmetric mode. In symmetric mode, two or more hosts are running applications and are monitoring each other. Thank you.